Hello again, still Andreas Josephson, the Academy Manager here. Now we're going to take a look at the user interface of our Academy portal. It's pretty simple. As you can see, there's not much buttons here, but still it's uh, always good to get an orientation. Uh, at the top here, you have some uh, a toolbar. Uh, for example, you have your uh, different shortcuts here. So your information, if you click on that, you can update uh, your information. You can upload a, a portrait image or some other uh, image of, a, of your cat or something. Um, here you have quick access to your courses, your certifications. If you have been issued any of those, you can get the pro progress reports, the group that you're a member of. If you're part of many branches like the partner branch, the general journey, learning branch, or the staff branch, or whatever. And you also have a file repository here for files that you want to store here or that you want to share with other people at this site or on this site. Uh, you have a personal inbox here. Uh, this inbox is connected to the email that you registered with. So it's uh, any messages you get here will also go to that email. And here you can send messages internally to administrators, to instructors, and maybe to different course members if the instructor uh, wants you to communicate with them. There's a general search and a general help and a logout button. To the right here, we have the um, tools panel or, or shortcuts here. Uh, let's start from the bottom. You have a calendar. Calendar. If you have any assignments or any course deadlines, or if you have any activities like webinars or discussion forum groups, or even on-site trainings that are uh, happen during a specific time or date, they will pop up here. You can also make an export of that calendar if you want to keep it somewhere. Uh, then you have discussion groups. This is uh, like regular forums. You can uh, create your own topics and you can also um, continue discussions here. It might be that uh, discussion topics are created by the instructor, instructor and you need to be uh, um, engaging in that at certain times and so forth. You can create groups. Um, or join a group. Some, no, uh, yeah, you can only join groups, sorry. Uh, you might get a group key for, from an instructor and you join that group and then you can do group tasks or other things. You have a progress report here. So here you can see your activities, uh, how you spent your time here in the system, uh, what courses you have in progress, what courses you flunked, what courses you completed, how much time you spent in the system, and what certifications you have received. The certifications now are uh, fully managed uh, digitally. So you can go in here, download them as printable PDFs, or you can share them on LinkedIn or other social media. Uh, you have a timeline here where you can see your activities also. You can export it, of course. Uh, you have an infographic up here where you can uh, get this kind of visuals where you, that you can share. And there is uh, gamification that we are working on implementing. So you will get points and badges and so forth. Um, and that's pretty much the progress. Then to the real deal, the course catalog. If you don't have any courses yet, you can, uh, you can of course press here but regularly you access the course catalog up here. And then you get the list of all the uh, available courses. You can look at subcategories, for example, this introduction course here. We only have one available for that. Uh, if you click on that, you will get information. You can sign up. But that I'm going to leave for the next tutorial. Uh, so. See you then.